we have taken a look at the reproductive system in males. Now before moving on to the process of fertilization, we need to understand the place where this process takes place. Yes, I am referring to the female reproductive system. The site of ovum production, fertilization and the uterus are all a part of the female reproductive system. Let's have a look at this important system in this video. Do you remember where we began studying the male reproductive system? Yes, it was the site of sperm production. Similarly, we will begin learning from the site of production of the egg cell or simply the ovum. So the journey begins from these oval structures called the ovaries, one ovary on either side. Did you notice that the ovaries are connected to these tube-like structures? But they are not connected directly. If we look at it carefully, we find that there are finger-like projections which connect the two. These finger-like projections are very important for receiving the ovum when released from the ovaries. But do they have a scientific name? Yes, these finger-like projections are called the fimbriae. The fimbriae help to hold the ovum released and also help to sweep it to the tubes present ahead. But why does the ovum require the sweeping activity? Can't it travel on its own? No, it can't. Unlike the motile sperm, the ovum is non-motile. It cannot move until it is pushed or swept by some other cells. Now these tube-like structures that we are referring to since a long time also have a scientific name. They are called as the fallopian tubes. And what do you think will be their importance? Let me guess. Is it that they connect the ovaries to the uterus? Yes, that is definitely one important function. But more important than this is the fact that the fallopian tubes are the site of fertilization. Yes, it is the fallopian tubes where the sperms are able to fertilize the ovum. And from here, the zygote starts dividing and grows into an embryo. Now, where will this embryo go further? Needless to say, the uterus. We know that the uterus, commonly referred to as the womb, is the site of development of a baby. And when the growth of the baby is completed, it comes out of the mother's body through the vagina. Do we know what the vagina is? It is basically a small passage that opens to the exterior. It is the site where sperms are received in the female's body. On the other hand, the same passage is used for passing the baby out of the body during childbirth. Now that you've learned both the reproductive systems, can you tell me which one is more complex than the other one? Just think for a moment. If you think it is the male reproductive system, then you may be wrong. Yes, the female reproductive system is more complex. The system is designed for the complete process of fertilization as well as the growth and the development of the baby. That is the reason why it is slightly more complicated compared to the male reproductive system. This was just an overview of how the female reproductive system is. We would get to know how every organ in this system works efficiently when we understand the process of fertilization and the development process of the embryo in detail. For that, you need to watch our next video.